All right, guys, today I'm going to go over connecting to the Geyser Connect server using a console, specifically the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, and this should, in theory, work on the Xbox Series SX as well, although we've been getting reports that people are having issues with the Series SX consoles. Um, I'm doing this as a update video because I have found a way that I believe honestly is much better than what most people are recommending and I got a very good line of thought behind that as well and I'm also gonna go over how to enter a custom server address into the geyser connect specifically for United Factions today give them a shout out now as I said, this is for Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Xbox Series. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to your system settings, find your system settings, and then you go to your internet settings, and you will need to find your DNS settings. Now, What you want to do before you get into your DNS settings, you should have something somewhere that shows you your connection status or connection info. What you want to find in that information is the gateway IP address. So this is called gateway on the switch, but it's also called default gateway. And most of the time it's going to be 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1 depends on the manufacturer of your routem or modem mine is a .2.1 because I have a more advanced network setup now if you cannot find this right here but you do see this take note of the first three sets of numbers the 192.168.0.1 in my case, two. Again, for you guys, it's probably going to be a zero or a one. Write it down if you have to. Um, it's a pretty common number. Should be easy enough to, fi to figure out. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go to your DNS settings. Um, I think the Xbox might have advanced settings under DNS settings, I'm not sure. But uh, what you gotta do is you gotta set your DNS settings to manual. And what you will do is under primary DNS right here, you will enter 136.049.186.024. This is the DNS server for the Geyser Connect. And what this does is this returns uh, a counterfeit IP address for the featured servers. And what this does is it redirects your console to the Geyser Connect, which then allows you to connect to any server you want to. If you've already set up for Bedrock Connect, you, you might already have the Bedrock Connect IP address on there we're not using that. So once you've entered the Geyser Connect IP address, because Geyser Connect can completely replace Bedrock Connect. For your secondary DNS, remember that IP address I told you to uh, remember the default gateway? You will enter that in right here as your secondary DNS. In my case, 192.168.2.1. You don't have to put the zeros when you enter it. The switch will automatically do that. Um, now, if you couldn't find the gateway and you just made note of those first three numbers like I told you to do, just put a dot one as the last one. In very rare circumstances, is it not going to be dot one? Um, what most people don't realize is your router has a DNS server built into it. Now, it is just a redirect DNS server. What it does is it pulls the DNS server information from your internet service provider 
and whenever it gets a DNS request, it just forwards it to your service provider's DNS. Now, this is better than using 8.8.8.8 because 8.8.8.8 is a US Google DNS server. So let's say you're not in the US or your internet service provider uses their own DNS servers. By using your router as your secondary DNS, your router will forward a DNS request correctly to a working DNS server. So this will also should also prevent you from getting the unable to connect issue as well. I cannot promise that, but it I have been told I have come across that Xbox users were having that issue. So use your default gateway address as your secondary DNS server. Now you need to restart your console to make sure that these changes are applied. This is not just hitting the power button, let the display turn off and hitting the power button again. That's not restarting a console. That's just putting it to sleep and waking it back up. Uh, on the switch, you actually have to hold the power button down for a full five seconds. Then the power options screen will dis display. You'll select power options, select restart, and it will restart. On the Xbox series consoles, you hold down the uh, dashboard button on your Xbox controller. It opens the power center. You select restart console, restart, and you should see the green boot up animation. If you don't see the green boot up animation, it probably didn't restart. Once your console has restarted, get back and go back into your game. And with the exception, uh, at the time of this recording, with the exception of Galaxite, we know about it. We, I mean, there's several other servers, so it's kind of not a big deal. With the exception of Galaxite, all the featured servers will now have this text, a public geyser connect. So you will simply select one of these featured servers that says that, hit join server, and it will load you into the geyser connect. So let me go ahead and bring up my Windows 10 Minecraft. It, it, it's the same game, I just don't have to do the DNS trick. So for this, I'm gonna show you what you'll see when you connect to the Geyser Connect and how to add a server. In this case, we're gonna jump on unitedfactions.net. So when you connect to the Geyser Connect, you'll be presented with this. Just some information and basically a little thing saying if you're gonna play on these big popular Java nets, play at your own risk, it's very easy to get banned. Uh, official servers, these are here if you ever want to play one of the servers on the featured servers list. We put this here so you guys don't have to worry about trying to undo the DNS settings. You just come here, select one of them, and you can play on it. No big deal. Geyser servers. These are servers that we are sponsoring, as it were. Uh, the official Geyser test server. And these top three servers right here are all my servers. These will never change. We also have a bunch of other servers. These are native cross-platform servers. So they are Java servers that when you connect to them, they accept you as a Bedrock player and they directly handle translating you from Bedrock to Java. And the nice thing about that is you don't have to worry about their anti-cheats because the anti-cheats are able to realize you're a Bedrock player. And this is the server I'm going to be showing you guys how to enter manually. Under custom servers, this is where you will add your own servers. So you select custom servers, you'll come to edit servers, go to add a server, and what we got here is play.unitedfactions.net. Now, as I said, 
This is one of those servers that natively supports crossplay. So you don't need to worry about the anti cheats kicking you because it doesn't like, because it thinks you're a Java player. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick Bedrock Server. While it is a Java server, it natively supports Bedrock players. So we are going to say we are connecting to a Bedrock server. They are using a default port for Bedrock, which is 19132. And while the server is an online mode server, since we are connecting to their Bedrock translation layer, this is irrelevant. Geyser just ignores this when you tell it that you're connecting to a Bedrock server. So we're going to hit Submit. You see it right here. We'll go back. And so main menu, go to custom servers, and voila, there it is. We just select it. Wait a moment. And there you go. They got a really cool lobby here. This, this lobby is quite impressive in my opinion. And they got a bunch of information around here. You know, so make sure you read the signs, make sure you read these hologram notices. They have a Discord and everything as well. Yep. And here's their info board. So, there we have it. Alright guys.